Tips, tips and tricks with Tyler and Terry. SP15 Track Placement. What's up, Donnie? Oh, hey guys. Uh, my elevation is hunting. Uh, Y'all got any pictures for that? Uh, do you have uh, Eric's number? I do, but he said something about being on a demo. <laughs> but I think I know somebody who can help us out. He's helped us in the past. Okay. Austin! Donnie. What's up? Hey, man. Hey. Uh, so are you able to fix this issue I got going on with my curb? What issue? So, Austin. Donnie's mold is hunting. It's going up and down, and we can actually see it in the top of the curb, a little bit of waviness in there. Is there anything you can do to help him out? Hmm. Actually, there is. Donnie, your rear track is pretty far away from the mold. So what I want us to do is get it closer to the mold for better machine stabilization, and then also it's going to give Makes us sense. more accurate slope adjustment. All right, let's do that, man. It's fantastic. Let's do it. All right, All right Donnie, to get this rear track closer to our mold, we need to point the back of the track in the direction we want the leg to shift. Okay. So go ahead and do that by using your rear steering switch. Perfect. Now as we go in reverse, we'll slide the rear leg over using this switch here. Okay, so I'll start going. A little bit faster. Good. All right. Just over to the left, correct? That's right. Donnie, slide it over until you feel comfortable that you're not going to be able to steer the track manually into the mold. All right. That look about good? Yeah, a little bit more, Donnie, and then we'll be there. All right, Donnie, perfect. So stop, yep. And now straighten out that rear track. All right, Donnie, looks good. We did it, man. All right, man, thanks. I appreciate it. 